Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. Today I want to talk about a topic that you hear people in the tournament world talk about all the time, and that is whether you fish to win or fish to cash a check. And before I get into it, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel so that you are entered into my monthly prize drawing giveaways. Uh, if you watch the channel on a regular basis, you might as well hit click su subscribe because there's no reason not to. You have a shot to win a couple of prizes if you do it. Um, other than that, I just want to say, if you want to support the channel, click on the realshot.com link in my description. It's a tackle shop here in, in Wisconsin. If you shop there, use the discount code STEFAN10 and you'll get 10% off your order and you'll help out the channel a little bit. You'll get a discount on some tackle. Okay, guys. So one topic you hear about in the tournament world all the time is, do you fish to win or do you fish to cash a check? And personally, I don't think you can necessarily fish to win. And I don't think you can just say, I'm going to fish to cash a check. You know, you go into a tournament having done some research or being familiar with a lake and you know roughly what it's going to take to win that event. You know, if you go to a lake where 20 pounds is kind of where that's the weight you need to get to to win, then 20 pounds is the weight. If you fish a lake that's really tough, like the Ohio River, and you come in with 10, 12 pounds, you have a shot to win. So having said that, I don't know that you can go to either of those fisheries and say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to target, you know, two pounders at the Ohio River and I'm going to target four pounders at Gunnersville or someplace that takes 20 pounds to win. You know, yes, I think there's a way to go about fishing for bigger fish, but I don't think you can separate the two necessarily. I mean, I think a lot of times you just have to catch numbers of fish and weed your way up to those bigger fish. So having said that, my approach in the tournament world is I go into each event fishing the way that I think I have a shot at winning. Meaning, you know, after I'm done with practice, I may have found some things that I think are going to produce bigger fish. And I may have found some things that are going to produce numbers of fish, but maybe not quite the same size. I will blend those together to try to create, you know, the best weight that I can catch. So I may start in an area where I had two big bites, even though I don't think I'm going to get the number of bites I could have had somewhere else. But I'm going to do it with the hopes that if I can get one or two big bites in the first couple hours, that's going to set me up for a good day. If I go and do that and I don't get bit, I might go to the area where I can secure a limit relatively quickly, knowing that they're not going to be the winning caliber fish, but I'm going to secure them so that I have them and I can go back to fishing for bigger fish. Now at that point, in a perfect scenario, I call all those fish out with the big fish that I was chasing. But I'm not gonna sit here and say, okay, I'm gonna throw a bait to generate only big, big bites. I think that in the tournament world, the baits that truly generate the biggest bites, so big swim baits, big spoons, like the baits that are known to produce big bites and really on average, bigger fish than normal. Those are not tournament world baits unless you probably have a limit or a decent limit of fish already in the boat. So I don't think, you know, I, I think the, the, the anglers that go into an event and say, I'm going to throw a giant glide bait all day. If I get five bites, I can win this tournament. That's great. But I don't think that's a, a good strategy to win an event. I think when it works, you have a good shot. But the majority of the time, I think you're going to fail and not get five big bites on a glide bait or not put five big fish in the boat on a glide bait. You may get five bites, but a lot of times you don't have hookups. So, you know, for somebody to say they're fishing to win, unless you're really going out throwing a giant bait, I don't think there's there's that like that actually works. I think every angler in that tournament is going out fishing to win. So they're hoping to win. Now, what I will say is when it comes to practice, for me, I go into practice and try to figure out ways that I think are going to generate bigger fish. So the, the reason behind that is when I go there, I feel like if I'm fishing for the fish that I think could win the event. So I'm really concentrating on 
patterns that will produce better quality fish. If I don't find, say, that winning spot in the tournament, usually what I feel like that results in is, okay, you know, I didn't hit my goal of winning the event, but I didn't fail so miserably where I came in last. The, the, the failure is still good enough for a check. So, you know, it's kind of that, it's, it's the thought of, I'm going to shoot for the top if I fail, I'm going to be somewhere closer to the top. If I shoot for a check, well, say in my in my pro circuit events, a check, a $10,000 check is 60th place out of 160 anglers. If I shoot for the check weight and I fail, I don't get a check. I'd rather shoot for first place, fail, get a check, versus not getting a check if I fail to shoot for cashing a check. So... I don't think an angler wants to necessarily go into an event and say, okay, I'm, I, you know, I, I just want to save points. I'm going to fish for a check because that mindset isn't the, the best mindset to have. If you go into the event and you're like, I'm going to fish to win, the mindset is the ultimate goal. And if you don't hit that, which, you know, percentages say you're not going to hit that, your failure will still be in that check range. So when it comes to practice, I like to shoot for the win. And if I don't find what I need, at least I'm hopefully got a few spots that are going to generate bigger bites, which are going to, you know, if I can get those in the tournament, that's going to result in me getting a check in the event. So, you know, I, I don't think anyone goes into an event saying I'm not fishing to win. I think everyone is there to, to win. I will say I don't think every everyone who shows up necessarily believes that they are going to win, but ultimately their goal is to win the event. So, you know, I, I every time I get the question, you know, do you do you fish to win or fish to cash a check? I really don't think you should necessarily be fishing the event if you're not truly fishing to win. But I don't think that that when you go into the event that mindset should dictate your approach to the tournament. So, you know, yes, you want to win the event and you believe in yourself that you can win the event, but you're going to make decisions throughout the day that might help solidify you cash a check. I mean, that happens to me all the time. If I'm on, if I've had a decent day one and I go into day two and I've got say three fish in the boat and I know if I catch two more keepers, I, my weight's going to be good enough to cash a check. I will definitely keep in mind that, you know, okay, I might have to run over here to catch two quick keepers or to catch a keeper, knowing that if I get those two keepers, I've, or keepers, I've solidified a check. But once I've done that, I'm right back to going for, hey, I'm trying to catch bigger fish or do things that I believe will generate a better bite. So when it comes down to tournament decisions, the check will come into mind and it's something you have to be aware of especially in a longer season with points and all of that on the line and when your career is on it i mean i need to pay a mortgage i need to pay bills just like everyone else so i need to cash checks in order to do that but i don't ever want to go into an event especially into practice going i just want to get out of here with a check i mean yes that that's the like the bottom line goal for me but Ultimately, you want to go into practice thinking, I'm fishing to win. And then once tournament time comes, you might want to adjust those goals. But I think you want to shoot for the stars. If you fail, you're going to get out of there with a check versus shooting for the mid-range or the low-end goal and then failing and coming out of there with, with nothing. So I hope that makes sense, guys. You know, everyone's different, but that's the mindset that I have. I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. If you have questions, throw them up in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. But, you know, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. we got tips coming out every day. Thanks for watching.